video we're going to take a look at completing the square. Uh, completing the square is when you take a quadratic trinomial and you write it in this form here. That is y equal to a times x minus h squared plus k squared, where h and k are the coordinates of the vertex of the trine of the quadratic, that is the, the highest point or the lowest point. And then x equal to h is the axis of symmetry, uh, the line where the quadratic is symmetrical on either side. So I'm going to take a look at this one here, x squared plus 8x plus 7, and I'm going to complete the square and write it in completed square form. So to do that, what you do is you take the coefficient of x, which is 8. First thing you do is half it, so half of 8 is 4. Then you square it, so we square 4 to get 16. Then what we do with this is we rewrite this quadratic x squared plus 8x then we do plus 16 then we do minus 16 and finally the plus 7 so now we have added and subtracted 16 so essentially we haven't added or subtracted anything um, 16 minus 16 is 0 so it's all balanced what we do is then we take the new quadratic trinomial that we have here and we can factorize this and basically we're looking at factors of 16 that add together to give you 8 well 4 by 4 is 16 and 4 plus 4 is 8 so those are our factors so we write it down as x plus 4 times x plus 4 and then we have minus 16 and plus 7 which is equal to minus 9. And then one final step, we have x plus 4. We have it twice multiplied by itself. So that's x plus 4 squared minus 9. And that is completed square form. So now I know that my vertex is equal to... Now, in the general form, it's minus h and plus k. So it's the opposite sign to h. So here I have plus 4. So that means my vertex is minus 4 minus 9. And I know also that my axis of symmetry is x equal to minus 4. Okay, let's have a look at another one here. So this one looks a little bit more complicated. It's 13 minus 4x minus 2x squared. So with this one, let's write it as uh, the general way, which is minus 2x squared minus 4x plus 13. Now, in order to do completed square form, I need to have a leading coefficient of x squared of 1. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to factorize out this minus 2. So I'm going to take minus 2 outside the brackets, and I'll be left with x squared. If I take minus 2 out of minus 4, I'll be left with plus 2x. And if I take minus 2 out of 13, I'd be left with minus 13 divided by 2. So we're going to complete the square on this part here. So let's take our coefficient of x, that's 2. We half it to get 1, and we square 1 to get 1 again. So we're going to add and subtract 1 to this here. So now I have minus 2 times x squared plus 2x plus 1 minus 1 minus 13 over 2. So we can factorize this bit here. So we have our minus 2 and then factors of 1 that add together to give you 2. It's going to be 1 and 1. So I have x plus 1 times x plus 1. And then minus 1 minus 13 over 2. That's minus 15 over 2. And I just need to put an extra set of brackets around because the minus 2 is there. Next step then, I have minus 2 times x plus 1 squared minus 15 over 2. And then just multiplying in the minus 2 for one last step, minus 2 times x plus 1 squared. And then minus 2 times minus 15 over 2 is plus 15. So now I can read off my vertex. And that is equal to 
uh, minus 1 15. My axis of symmetry then would be x equal to minus 1. Okay, thanks for watching. So if you found them um, two questions okay, then you can check out the next video which will deal with a much more difficult question.